Hello again ladies and gentlemen, I'm Joe Hendy, the Android Authority App Guy, and welcome back to Google Play Weekly. In this week's episode we have a lot to talk about, including the latest tinkering that Google has been doing with Google Chrome, an app that wants to deliver Moto X features to every Android phone, and finally, the release of Plants vs. Zombies 2. So let's get started. <laughs> The first thing we'll talk about this week is Google Chrome because Google Chrome got a couple of updates. The first update brought gesture controls which allows you to change tabs easier and access the menu faster. It also allows you to reverse image search. The second update is only available in the latest beta for now. There is now an option to add home screen shortcuts for web apps. This has been a feature for a long time in the actual Chrome browser and in Chrome OS. Some believe that this is the next logical step in the unification of PC and mobile Chrome experience, while others maintain that Chrome and Android should remain separate, so there is a little bit of controversy with this one. If you own a Chromecast and you're a fan of Hulu, then this next story is going to be good news for you. Hulu recently updated its Android application to include Chromecast support. Hulu fans could use the Chrome browser earlier, but let's face it, Android support is preferable. As one might expect, you'll need a Hulu Plus subscription in order to use this feature, so if you're not a Hulu subscriber, you're kinda out of luck. If you do pay the $7.99 a month to get Hulu Plus, you can take advantage of the new features as soon as the update rolls out to you. Arguably one of the best features of the Moto X is Always On. Always On lets you talk to the phone even when the screen is off, and as Motorola has shown us, there are plenty of situations where this can be a good thing. Agent is a recently released application that wants to bring this functionality to all Android devices. The app is pretty useful even if it can't hold a candle to Google now. That said, it's still one of the best fire and forget apps out there and it includes a number of useful features. As development continues and more features get added, we can see this becoming a must-have app for non-Moto X users very soon. I know a lot of you have been asking me about Plants vs. Zombies 2, and guess what? I finally have some good news for you. Plants vs. Zombies 2 has finally been released in the Google Play Store in select countries. So far, only residents of Australia and New Zealand can download the game and play it right now, but that just means that a worldwide release is imminent. There has been no official release date, so the official word remains that it'll be out for everyone soon enough. Some features of the sequel include better plants to defend your lawn, new zombies, zombie chickens, and it's compatible with Android 2.3 and up on devices with a 1GHz processor or better. A recently published report essentially proves that you don't need antivirus or anti-malware applications. Between verify apps, permissions, installing from trusted sources, and all the other security features you find in stock Android, the risk is literally infinitesimal. So if you want to know how powerful the stock Android security is... It's over 9,000! There are simply too many safety settings a user has to ignore in order for malware to actually make it onto an Android device. The odds of malware actually making it through all those steps are so small that it can't even be calculated. So in other words, if you use the safety features built right into Android, you're 99.9% .9 secure. And that's pretty good. So who wants to see some trending applications? As usual, if you want to check these out, the links are in the video description. First up this week is TeamViewer. The app was recently updated to include a few new features, including clipboard synchronization, more lock computer options, and of course the boilerplate bug fixes and performance improvements. If you've been holding off on remote communication between your PC and Android devices, now's a good time to check that out. The popular audio app has been getting only better lately, and with its latest update, it's probably better than it's ever been. The latest updates give users new stations to listen to, lets people share stations, and now stations are free on mobile. Who doesn't like free? Our next app is a nifty little launcher that is designed for simplicity and ease of use for senior citizens. If you know someone who could benefit from a simple launcher with large icons, then this is the app we'd recommend for them. It's free, it can turn Android into something everyone can use, and it really is helpful and awesome. TripAdvisor made our best travel apps list from a few months ago, and it's back in our trending apps this week. In recent updates, TripAdvisor has overhauled their UI. Their new UI is a lot cleaner, more user-friendly, and everything seems to be loading faster. If you dumped TripAdvisor before, we recommend giving it another shot. It's free, so what can it hurt? The hockey season has started, and Yahoo has finally updated their fantasy app for the 2013-2014 season. It hasn't gotten the UI updates that Yahoo's weather app has gotten, but it's still a functional and powerful app if you play Yahoo Fantasy Hockey. It's a nice app and it's ready for the season. Once again, I'm Joe Hendy, the Android Authority App Guy. Feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel and if you like this show, check out some of our other ones. You can find the social media links along with the written companion to this video in the video description. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.